Well, super cruiserweight bout here, Rebel, between Douglas Vinny and Stefan, better known as Stretch Billing. And two well-built big men. Douglas weighed in at 90.2 and Stretch weighed in at 90 kg. Douglas fighting out of the Balmoral League Guard Gym. Stretch out of the Malcolm Carney Kickboxing Gym in Whangarei. Douglas starts off with a hard thigh kick. What can you tell us about him, Rebel? Well, one thing about this fight is the head guard and the shin guards are off. This is um, the real stuff. Two minute rounds, three rounds. Um, Doug, he's he's uh, six foot three, two inches shorter than Stretch. This is his first fight. He's one. Uh, oh, great knee. Great knee by Stretch Billing. And Stretch has had a uh, couple of fights before. And they were quite some time ago, back in 1994 to be exact. But it doesn't look like there's too much ring rust out there. Good knee, good straight hand. A very tall man. Oh, good left hand there from uh, Douglas. Oh, and another one. Stretched quickly to his feet. Lovely punch. Beautiful left hook. Um, look for Doug to go back with the hands. Oh, there's another one. Stretched straight to his feet again, but another beautiful punch. And Malcolm Carney Stretch isn't happy with that. He said no way, but Malcolm Carney. Has a few uh, words of consolation. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a lot more of this boy, Douglas Viney. Yeah. Doug with the big left hook, he came out looking sharp, looked strong. Um, what he was lacking in experience, he made up with a big left hook. Oh, Douglas Benny. Yeah. Now Malcolm Carney having a good word to uh, stretch and a four year layoff is a long time. You had a three year one yourself, Rebel. Pretty hard to come back after that time but I'm sure Malcolm will take him along quietly and uh, we'll see him back out there. Oh, most definitely. Um Stretch, he's, he's had a couple of good fights in his, in his career. He's had, prior to this fight, he's had a couple and he's won both of them. So, um, so he can come back and uh, fight again. Well, Ray Seppo presents a trophy to Douglas Vinnie and I'm pretty sure that's not going to be the last trophy he lays his hands on.